had a staring contest with two of your co-stars. We do a quick one here. No, it won't be quick. We don't have that much time. No, we don't have forever. Mm. But I can stay here all night. He's really Are good. Great? Oh gosh. Oh my gosh, that just scared me. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki Novak here for Young Hollywood with Terry O'Quinn and Rachel Taylor. How are you? Fine. How are you doing, Nikki? I'm doing well. Hi, I, I know you're well because your flip-flops yeah. are pretty badass, I gotta say. I just I just picked them up this afternoon. We, we went to a, I don't know where it was, something, and they gave us a bag, and these were in them, and I couldn't resist. I've been wearing They're them. They're cute. I've been wearing slippers for 10 years, so it's like, I'm pretty happy with them. Well, and you look very dapper, too. It's a nice mix. It's a new fashion thing. Yeah, like yours. <laughs> yeah. I, this, now, what are you talking who's about? Who's that? What is that? My name is Ryan Reynolds and I am the Green Lantern. Oh. <laughs> Which the means Green that I can grant wishes. So, and I can make anything happen. So, wish. What would you wish? Um, um, that uniform disappeared. <laughs> Six Six is Park Avenue. First of all, where do you think creepier and crazier things happen? Here at Comic Con or at Six 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 Park Avenue? Uh, Six 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 Park Avenue. Hands down. Um, we have a whole number of very bizarre Faustian bargains that are taking place in our wee apartment building in New York City. What do you think? I think we couldn't afford to rent a closet in this place. Good afternoon. The resident manager handles the day-to-day -day running of the Drake apartment. Are you sure this is our apartment? Yeah, it comes with the job. What happened to the previous manager? Yeah, why would anybody ever want to leave this? Yes, their heart well moved someplace warmer. Now sign the contracts and get out of here. You've got a lot of work to do. Are you the devil? No. <laughs> you said I, that very earnestly. I have been told specifically that I'm not. Because I think if I was, it would be so much less interesting than being maybe something else. So who are you, do you think? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, maybe I'm a victim of maybe I'm a victim of the devil. A victim I'm somebody, of circumstance. I'm somebody, yeah, exactly. I'm somebody who's manipulating the power in this place to apparently my own ends. But um, that, that's uh, maybe I'm a victim of one of, my, one of the Faustian bargains. Have you had any crazy landlord stories or ghost stories? Any hauntings? I, I, do, I do have a crazy landlord story. Oh, it's not oh, a haunting story. Okay. But she um, was very, very difficult. And she was an animal Reiki therapist. Animal Reiki. You ther we already, you already, we're in you LA. Were you, know, we're, you know we're in LA. <laughs> but she used to let herself into our house and just like hang out in it. And she'd come in and leave bread and like give us fresh soap. And it was super creepy and wow. Weird. You had the screening this afternoon, the pilot screening. How is has your Comic Con experience? Have you've been here before? I assume. <laughs> I've never been here before. Really? No. And I've got to tell you, I'm a little disappointed. How so? <laughs> I, I, I thought everybody here was going to be crazy, but and they are. I mean, in, you know, in all honesty, they are all crazy, but only only one in six of them is dressed. But one think, in three is dressed up here. What would be your costume if you're going to come back next year? I don't know. I'll tell you. You know what? The last time I had a costume on, I told you about my costume. I was at Halloween. I went to Halloween in Chinatown in Honolulu. I went to the costume shop and I bought a Batman mask. You yeah. know, the whole thing that covers this part. I thought I didn't want. To, I wanted to be incognito. Cool. And I bought a, a mullet wig that was like great. So I put on my Batman mask and my mullet wig, and I had a T-shirt that was too small with a bat that I hand drew. So on you it. just looked crazy, basically. It's like you had a really bad Friday night. Super on. tight skinny jeans and a pair of red Crocs, <laughs> and I tied a garbage bag around my neck. So I was a white trash Batman. And, <laughs> and so, so yeah, I'm in the, right. so I uh, know I'm in the line. I'm in the line waiting to get my tickets. And I said, uh, two tickets, you know, for me. And she said, okay, can I have my picture with you? And I said, do you like my outfit? She said, no, I loved you and lost. Can we take pictures? <laughs> Shit. Speaking of loss, I had a staring contest with two of your co-stars, Michael Emerson and Adewale Akinoye Adbaje, and I lost. I failed miserably. Uh, I lost at hello. the staring contest. I mean, you picked the two black belts of, of, <laughs> of staring, probably. You did okay. It's staring? Should do we, we do a quick one here? No, it won't be quick. We don't have that much time. No, we don't have forever. But I can stay here all night. No, That's he's, what Michael said. He's really good. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh, that just scared me. <laughs> <laughs> But Michael, you win. No, okay. So comedy for you anytime soon? That would be great. <laughs> You're a funny good. guy. Well, I think we should have a little comedy on our show. I'm hoping that we get a few more laughs, right? You had some laughs in the screening just then. When you say the little bit about uh, what was it? The bit about exactly. every you said the word God memorable. and everyone laughed because they were like the irony. He's the devil. Oh, and he's talking about praying to God. Yeah, ah. act of God. Yeah, but that's uh, it. That was, I got some I laughs. could do, and I did some comedies in theater when I was young. Know, 
now starting out. No, I believe it. Just all these shows. Well, there's always the supernatural involved with you, and there's always it's sort of the dark and the sinister and what's going on underneath. So, would love to see you in one of those. I think we're actually the supernatural being is going to be Rachel, who's probably an angel, but nobody knows it yet. I have a great. I came up with a great metaphor for what we know and don't know. And people say you don't know anything. Isn't that terrible? And I say no. I think that. It's if you're going to go on a journey of three or four years, you don't have to take all your baggage with you when you start. You accumulate clothes every place you go. And finally, when you get to your destination, you are well-dressed and interesting, hopefully. And wearing flip-flops. so good. And wearing slippers. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for chatting with us. Thank and you. congrats. Thanks, Thanks. Mike. Good to see you, Nikki. Thank you.